welcome to Farmer's Kitchen, the brand new foodie show with me, Helen Farmer, presented by Spinney's here on Dubai Eye 103.8. Whether you are watching or listening, if you're looking for some cooking inspiration, you're in the right place. We're celebrating Eid in this episode, so gather together friends and family to eat, to celebrate and to share. We're going to be cooking up a traditional Middle Eastern dish that can use a variety of meats, but our chef, Hatta Mata from Mata Farms, has chosen to use chicken. I, of course, want to find out more about this ingredient here at Spinney's. We're going to be speaking to an expert and find out how it goes from the farm to the shelves and then to your plate. Delighted to be joined by Tom Harvey. He is here to talk to us all about chicken. He's the protein manager here at Spinney's. Hi, Tom. Hi. So, chicken we're cooking with this afternoon. It's such a staple for so many of us. Have some in the fridge, have some in the freezer, and across, of course, all sorts of different cultures and cuisines. But how do we pick a good one? The selection here is fantastic. From your point of view, how do you go about sourcing those chickens? Okay, well, the, I think the important thing to understand, first of all, is not all chicken is created equal. So we sell a variety of different ranges, some that we source locally and some that we bring in from overseas and that includes our organic range. There's effectively three different types of chicken that you can get, barn reared, mm -hmm. free range and organic. And organic should always be free range and that's got a completely organic diet. All of the feed that is uh, given to the chickens is, is organic. The chickens have room to roam outdoors and uh, express very natural behaviour. Does that mean that that process then takes longer? Yeah, it takes a lot longer. So there's, there's two types of chicken for specific breeds that have been quite carefully selected and bred over time to be just really good for putting on meat very quickly. But with organic, it's an entirely different process. The birds, we need them to, to live for longer and, and, and grow for longer. So actually, it's about 81 days that an organic chicken will, uh, will, will, will be grown for as opposed to around 28 for a, a conventional chicken. So quite a big difference. And we use a different breed for the organic chicken. So you'll actually see even the shape of the, 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 the bird and the muscles on it are a different shape. The breast is slightly smaller but longer. They're obviously moving around a lot more so the legs are stronger and it's a bigger part of the whole chicken carcass. Um, and because they're a, a, a reared for much longer, they've actually got a much more firmer flavour, much more almost gamey and, uh, and, and, and rich flavour. So it's more developed? Much more. Now that we know all about the fine fresh produce we're going to be using for the dish, we're going to head off to Jay Palm Tree Court, meet our chef and find out what we're going to be cooking. Keep it on Dubai Eye 103.8. I can't wait to taste it. Welcome to Farmer's Kitchen with me, Helen Farmer, presented by Spinney's and here at the fantastic Jay of the Resort. We're in White Orchid at Palm Tree Court and it's all about Eid feasting. Such a special time of year after the holy month of Ramadan. And to guide us through a traditional dish, we have Chef Hatem Mata of Mata Farms. Eid Mubarak to you. Eid Mubarak. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, your experiences of Ramadan? You had a good Ramadan? Absolutely. Um, you know, after Ramadan, Ramadan, everything slows down. You get time to reflect. Uh, you get time to think. You get time with family. Um, it's a time where everybody gets together over a meal that you've been waiting for the whole day. So everybody's very pensive, everybody's very thoughtful, and then Eid comes and there's this giant celebration. Got some fantastic ingredients here from Spinney's. We spoke to Tom Harvey, the protein manager mm -hmm. at Spinney's, who told us all about this amazing chicken here. This is the organic free range from Italy, all ready for action. We haven't revealed what our mystery dish is no, just not yet. yet. Not yet. But maybe we can get some clues here. We've yes. got some mystery greens. Mm -hmm. All I can smell is garlic. Yes, can you tell? Oh my gosh. Can I ask you a chef's tip? How can we get garlic, the smell of garlic off our hands, chef? Um, you don't use it. That's the, that's the trick. No, garlic is a very pungent ingredient. If you use it in anything, well, I mean, if you're going out, if you've got friends, if you've got a husband, wife, 
there's no kissing after garlic. Unless you both have it. Exactly, unless you both have it. Um, but garlic is very pungent. Once you, just like fish, citrus on your hands, and then they'll get rid of it. But a stainless steel was my grandma's drink. Yes, that's also, that also works. That also works. Some, some spices here. What is this? That's um, coriander. It's so ground coriander. Yeah, it's called kuzbara nashfa in Arabic. Could you use fresh coriander if you had it to hand? Um, no. For this, you need the dry coriander um, because you put it in ghee with the garlic. And it's the last thing that goes on the dish, and it's actually the, the make or break of the dish. Oh. Yeah. Maybe that's another clue. Yes. Let's reveal it. What are we cooking on this episode? We are making, ready, one, two, three, molochiyya. Firstly, help me pronounce this. You, you did a fantastic job. Come the first on. Time. Ready? It's molochiyya. Molochiyya. No. You had it the first. Ready? Molochiyya. Molochiyya. No, one more time. <laughs> one more time. Molochiyya. That's it. That's close. Thank big hand, you. Big hand for Alan, Thank big you, hand live for audience. Big Thank you very much. Molochiyya. That's not easy. All references for the rest of the episode will be done by chef. Yeah, I'll I'm say, just going to call it I'll just say molochiyya. I'll say molochiyya. <laughs> so this is Molochi. Amistry Green. Exactly right. And actually, when you find it in Spinney's, you can get it frozen. This is what it looks like. Yeah. So this is what you're looking for on yeah. the shelves. And yeah. how can you describe it as an ingredient, chef? Molochiyya is minced leaves. Um, and if you see the whole leaf, what it is, if you plant it, actually, we had uh, molochiyya at the Matar farm. It grows like a weed. Let's get cooking. So we need to make that stock. What's the first thing we're going to do, Chef? What we're going to do is we're going to get the, the pots nice and hot. All right. This garlic smells incredible. And we've got the two different types there for that depth of flavor. Yeah. So to a good chicken stock, and I guess you could use this for any of the dishes. Well, yes, you had exactly. Extra. You're exactly right. If you've got chicken stock, if you make, if you pre-plan it, I know everybody in Dubai is very busy and you're working. You can have chicken stock, and um, this is a trick that I use at home when I'm cooking for myself. Make chicken stock and put it in ice cube trays, right? Uh, the, uh, the chicken stock that's powdered, not so very good for you because it's got E32 divided by six, red color, I don't know what, it's <laughs> all got all numbers. these things, right? Uh, if you make chicken stock at home, put it in an ice, tr uh, ice cube tray, and whenever you want to cook, take a cube and use it. Right, well, hopefully, we'll have some left over yes. today. So what's going into our stock? What can I do for you, sir? Um, we're going to quarter this chicken. Okay. All right. Here it comes. Um, you love meat, yes, obviously. Yes. Who did you learn some butchery skills from? Um, I didn't. I, I read. Uh, I read a lot. I didn't apprentice anywhere. Um, but trial and error, uh, I've, I went to uh, the library and picked up a butchery book. Uh, I watched a lot of videos. And I encourage people in general, whatever you're doing, whether it's windsurfing, cooking, whatever it is, <laughs> I want people to know that there's a lot of information out there, and if you spend the time, you can learn totally on your own. But you just have to put the but time. It's intimidating. In. I'm looking at this, and I, I want to know how do I do it? How do I do it properly? Can you show us? I can. So, chicken is divided into the breast and the thigh. You can quarter it. Everybody's seen what a quarter chicken looks like, right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to separate. Take those legs off. Yeah, the legs, and see, you see it right away, right? If you do this and just. There we go. Okay. So that we've immediately got the shape of it. We can yeah. see the breasts. We can see those those legs. It's being cut right down the middle. Right. So this is exactly what you would do if you were quarter a chicken. And you see how many cuts did we do? We did one cut. And then you broke. Right. You want to break this in half. There's the back. This is and the back. This, so it's got the two legs. Right. So if you t if you if you take the back off or the bone, your knives must be pretty sharp. Yeah, you must have. If you've got if you've got uh, sharp knives, it makes your Job as a chef. Oops. Go on, get it. A lot, as, a lot easier. And this is for the stock. What, what are the meat that we're going to be having in our dish today? Um, More chicken? Yeah, the actual chicken. Great. All right. So we're going to leave this as is, and we're going to put some ghee. I can take this away for you, chef? Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. We're going to take some ghee. Get it in there. Are you ready? Yeah. How much are we talking? I know you chefs like the butter. Yes, a lot. A lot, okay. okay. <laughs> Some accurate measurements today. A lot. We keep going, great sizzle there. So ha that pan is pretty hot. All right, Lots and you can see, you can, can, you, can you smell the, 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 the ghee? The ghee has its own smell. For what you want to do now, watch what we're Got going to do. Got some cardamom pods. We're gonna actually add the spices to get some color and the heat will react with everything that you put in to make everything very fragrant when you make the stock. You can already smell the cardamom there. Some good heavy pinch of garlic powder going in, handful of bay leaves. I'm gonna let obviously, you, yeah, okay. Obviously. Garlic fresh, heaped teaspoon going into the pan. Right, and now you, can you smell? And now you smell. Right, okay. 
Oh my so goodness, that smells phenomenal. It okay. just smells like comfort of home. You know, yes, the, this is what, this this is what is, you want to smell when you walk through my, the door. This is what my childhood smells like. Chicken's gone into the pan. Opening up that chicken, the breast on it. Yep. Yeah. And skin stays on. Yes, because skin has all the flavor, by the way. Right, don't shy away from the skin. You don't have to eat it, but if you put it in your stock, Wow, explosive stock. We'll turn that down a bit. And it's important to brown the chicken there? Yeah. Do we have uh, water that we can add? Yeah, I have water, chef, no problem. And what is it, what is it served with? Amulukhi is served with rice. Uh, and obviously the meat that you made. It smells absolutely delicious. You're getting that cardamom coming through, the garlic, of course and then that chicken skin just crisping up really, yeah. really nicely. You'll get that soup. And what you'll do after this, when you've made the stock, we'll turn it all the way up. When, you, when, you, um, when you've made the stock, obviously because you don't want the cardamom and the bay leaf and all of that, you'll put a sieve, you'll, you'll, um, strain, you'll, you'll strain the stock, and this is what you'll add to the malukhiya. You can see the color. Already great color on yeah. that. So what do you do with this stock, so, Chef? So, what you do, um, you see this stock is, is boiling and rolling on its own. What we're going to do, I'm going to move this here. So, what you're going to do... Nice heavy bottom casserole dish yes, there. Yes, absolutely. What you're going to do, and this is warm already, what you're going to do is add the stock. Right, and you see its color. It's like a, it's a quite a pale, buttery brown. Exactly right. And look at the bottom, look at, if you can see the bottom, that's all the coriander and the spice that you had. So we have got those lovely little bits it's of all at, at the it's bottom. It's all at the bottom. Get now, all the good stuff in. <laughs> so the trick is now how much mulukhiya to add. Right? You because tell me. If you add too much, it's too thick. And if you add too little, then you're skimping on the mulukhiya. And that's bad mulukhiya. It's bad manners, actually. <laughs> so we bought it frozen from Spinney's. Yeah. Is it just a case of simply defrosting it and it looks like this? Exactly. Or that's exactly what it looks like after Easy. the bag's been defrosted. What we're going to do. So ladling in one... Okay, we're going to do two Ladling first. In two. It smells, as okay. you say, just a fresh green. Yeah. It doesn't really have a distinct flavor at all that I can pick up on. So one of the, uh, one of the things about mulukhiya is mulukhiya does not lend itself well to stirring. You're not supposed to store mulukhiya because you could have the disaster, the disaster. My mother says, if your mulukhiya drops and the soup is at the top and the mulukhiya is on the bottom, don't ever present it. You have failed. You have failed in your mulukhiya. So what we're going to do is we're just going to make sure so it's a delicate beast, which is... It is very delicate. We're and it's quite, it's quite gloopy. Yes. So just giving it a bit of a, a, bit of a tease, yeah. mixing it in with the stock, and then we're going to leave it alone. I want to see consistency that's not soupy, but that's not too thick. But, and you see now, there's no difference between the soup and the mulukhiya. They're both one. If you keep mixing, and one of the other things, mulukhiya can't boil. Once you've done this, don't boil it. What happens if you do? The mulukhiya drops. In Arabic, we say, but this all. <laughs> so um, how's it coming along? So we're done. We need rice. We need to brown the chicken. We've got chicken that we've already prepared. Can we get that? We can get some chicken. We're going to be pulling all that together for you, sir. Let's get it in. Right, so we're getting um, chicken that has been quartered. This is our Spanish organic free range. There Fantastic. you go. All right, we're not going to do very much with it. The mulukhiya is ready. We've also got rice that's ready that we made. Do. Could you do a different starch? Um... No, not for mulukhiya. Okay, let's get some rice. All right. And any preferences in terms of the type of rice? Uh, Cowrose rice. Egyptian we, rice. We call it Egyptian rice, yeah, <laughs> obviously. Um, if you have mashi, if you've got any of these things, it's obviously Egyptian rice that goes in. And you know, rice, different rices behave differently. Basmati rice beans, long grain rice, short grain rice, wild rice. And uh, I, should, I admit it? should I admit it on camera? Should I record? Should I, should I tell if people? You, wanna, you know. If you want to confess... You know the secret. ...to the Dubai Eye community, then yes, go on. Bear your I get, soul. I get it off my chest. I think you feel better it's, for it's it. It's embarrassing. With all the things I know how to make, I can't make rice. I tried, Helen. Hang I your head in shame. No, I do. <laughs> You're supposed to hug me and comfort oh. me. You'll get a, get a pat on the shoulder. Yeah, okay. What goes wrong when you cook rice? Um, it either gets too um, doughy, like because I mix it Gloopy? too much. Gloopy. Or it doesn't cook all the way through. Shame, shame, shame. And you mind you, I've, I've spent time with some of the best chefs in Dubai, and they're like, just, just do this. And 
No. Can't do it. Doesn't it's happen. a curse. Someone put a curse. I can't have rice. <laughs> Someone put a curse on me. We've got a nice hot pan here. I'm guessing more ghee in there. No, just this much. Just that's this much. It's a generous tablespoon. Yeah, that's this much. We're just going to brown the chicken on both sides. Plate of rice, a bowl of rice. We can do a bowl of rice for if you. Do, if we get those plates and we put the molokhiya, and then it's ready to go. Great to have you with us on Farmer's Kitchen with me, Helen Farmer on Dubai I1038. And don't forget, you can watch this too. Head over to our website so you can see all of the action as well as hearing it. Chef Hatem is browning the chicken for our here. Yes. 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 And we have already got our rice ready. Yeah. What else do we need to do, Chef, before it's ready for our audience? Okay. So, molokhiya has a secret ingredient at the end. If you don't put it in, then it's not molokhiya. Okay. Tell and me what we need. There's, there's like Egyptian folklore that when you put it in, all the Egyptian community will know, when you put the ingredient in, you have to go <gasps> like that. And if, it does, if you don't do it, then it's not good molokhiya. Okay. So you're going to do it with me. I'll do it, of course. Are you ready? Tell me. Okay. So, obviously ghee. Obviously, more ghee. Going more ghee. into a hot pan. Yes. How much are we putting in there? A spoon. A chef's spoon. A, sh a chef's ghee. spoon. All right. Okay, that's melting nicely in there. All right. And then... We've got some ground coriander yes. powder. And you'll smell it as soon as I put it in. A lot. Nice sizzle. A lot. Okay, we're a putting lot. about two tablespoons in there. And the garlic, please. Some, some fresh garlic. This is chopped. It's quite, a, quite a fine consistency. The more garlic you put, the easier it is to sleep. Really? Yes. Alone? Yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> we need a little bit. Ooh, you can smell that. So, tell us, Chef, how long is that going to be on the pan for? Two minutes. Oops. Way, nice look, at those, look at those reflexes. For just two minutes to get our final finishing touch. Would you like me to get some rice ready for you? Yes, please. Can you? What would be a good way of serving? How would you like it? I'm present. You know, you eat with your eyes first, right? True. So if you'd like to make it in a small bowl so it's presentable. Okay. So I'm trying to do some pretty rice for you. And this has got a vermicelli in it. Yes, it does. Egyptian rice. And a lot of Egyptian dishes, the rice comes with vermicelli. This is a standard Egyptian this dish. Is double carb. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Um, and, can and, we just take a moment to admire my beautiful rice? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we've got one here. Okay, are you ready? This is ready. Okay. Well, you've, you've got to do it with me. Okay. Are you I'm, ready? Re I'm ready to do my, okay. my gasp. Okay, okay. ready? You, when it hits the... So we're putting in the ghee the ground coriander, and we're also putting in the garlic into the molokhia. Okay, Ready? so that yep. was good. Thank you. When it hits the thing, you have to go, okay. but really loud. I'll do it. Are ready? Yeah, go. <gasps> okay, fine. This is going to be fantastic. This, this is going to be fantastic, molokhia. This so we're seeing good. that brown buttery being mixed in with that beautiful green soup going all the way through. All right. That's looking very delicious. Should I keep on with my rice? Yes, and chicken's done as well. Chicken's ready to go. I'm going to put one here because our audience is going to be testing some very, very soon. We've got a lovely browning on those chicken. We've got some legs and some breast. My favorite. Ah, I'm sure. Right. Next rice coming up. Do you know what? Let's have some audience to come up and do some tasting. Who's going to come and try our Eid dish Helen, today? look at that chicken. Beautiful what chicken. Do you, what do you think? I'd be delighted. All right. So this is off. Rice. Okay. Should we plate? Yeah, let's plate. All right. A ladle, molokhiya. That's our rice with vermicelli there. It's all right. ready for the chicken. All right. We're going to put our next tasting dish ready. So it is, it needs to go in a bowl because it is like a soup. It is a soup, but it is, it's not considered a starter. It's a, it's the main dish. Because so you're having that starch, exactly you're having right. that protein as exactly well. Exactly right. So it's spoons and then... Ladles. I'll take this, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. In cuisine, um, it's not just about ingredients. It's also about texture. It's also about temperature. Um, some of the best dishes contrast crunch with soft, contrast sweet, 
um, with savory contrast mouth hot feel. exactly hot and cold so texture and feeling is a very big part of cuisine these days and here we have the crispness of the skin got the softness of the rice and of course that lovely lovely soup. everything you could possibly want in one dish let's get some for our audience who's ready Keep on dishing up sir can i get all you right. some more bowls all right so how many would this feed if we've got four pieces of chicken here from one chicken would that be for a family yeah four pieces for four people we usually double up because you know it's popular it's, it's, it's addictive <laughs> all right and this was something you had as a child your children like this yes uh, the the, the mulukhiya tradition is going strong the mother sisters adore mulukhiya whenever i ask them what to make i don't even have to ask them they said guys what do you want to eat they say papi mulukhiya so okay, and this fine. is for eid but would you have this year round as yeah, well yeah absolutely absolutely when it's summer when mulukhiya is in season you get fresh mulukhiya and it tastes completely different Hey, have you had this before? No, that's what I wanted to know. How do you eat it? How do you yeah. eat it? So, um, molokhiya, um, if I may, I'll show you how we eat molokhiya. We'll just imitate you. Yeah, yes, exactly. yes, yes. Do what that the chef says. All right. So, traditional molokhiya. Here you go. So like you're this. putting in the soup into a little bowl of if rice. If you'd like to, but what you're supposed to do, obviously, is molokhiya, spoonful mm -hmm. of molokhiya, spoonful of rice. Oh. And thank me. I'm gonna get a spoon. Wait, wait. What? You feeding me? Mmm. You see? That's so comforting. Mm. Well, even without the chicken. Mm. When you add chicken to that, add chicken to the piece. Wow. What do you think? What flavors are coming through for you guys? What can you taste? It's a very earthy flavor. Yep. Yeah, it's yeah, absolutely with, right. I think with the uh, mm. with the it, and I know how much ghee is in this, but it still tastes healthy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it is. Believe it or not, I'm not. It's not healthy. It's not healthy because of all the greens. And yeah. Everything. Um, have some chicken with the molokhiya and rice. It's mm -hmm. all of yeah. them. All of them go together. Thank you. What do you think? Awesome. Ah. Oh, so glad go. to hear it. Thank Chef. My lady. You introduced me to not only a new dish but a new word. Yes. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. My pleasure. Thank you for having it's me. It's been an absolute pleasure to have you in our kitchen for this episode of Farmer's Kitchen. Thank you very much. I feel like the farmer's kitchen is the Mothar farm. Oh, well, maybe we'll come to you next yeah. time. But truly, thank you for celebrating Eid with us, sharing your ideas, sharing your secrets. Of course. Much appreciated. And if you've got any ideas for or you need a bit of inspiration for any of your ingredients, do get in touch through the website dubaii.com. You can also check out Chef Hatham's recipe for this very dish online too. And if you haven't been watching, you can go over to our social media, find out what the kitchen has been looking like and what's been going on in it. That's all on social media too. And pick up that copy of Spinney's magazine. Loads of Ramadan and Eid inspiration, sweet, savoury drinks and more. We'll be back next week with a new episode of Farmer's Kitchen. Keep cooking, Chef. Big hand to you. Big Thanks hand. So Thank much. you very much for and, having me. Uh, and Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak to you. And Eid Mubarak to you.